Nothing plain vanilla about the uh, the Celtics. You are a co-owner of the Boston Celtics. I, uh, just one last question about uh, the, the gambling atmosphere right now with the NBA. Uh, there are some questions about whether the NBA will be fully on board when it comes to gambling and betting when it, on those games. But I'm very interested to know, considering you are the uh, co-owner of the Boston Celtics, don't you as a team owner, if it becomes widespread gambling, don't you want to get a cut of that? Or does it just all go to the league? You would fight for your own cut, would you not? Well, the, the league is actually the, the agglomeration of the team. So each team gets a 30th of uh, merchandise sales and, and all those kinds of things. Uh, Adam Silver, who I think has uh, been one of the most incredible commissioners in sports, has been very thoughtful on all issues related to the NBA and especially gambling. He's an expert on that. Uh, he, he, he believes there, there should be an approach with regulation, with standards, uh, and, 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 the, and the highest thing for the NBA is the integrity of the games. Uh, so I think it's secondary what happens with the economics, but the economics, I, I would think, through some extent, will flow through the league and then flow back to the teams. And it's something that's best centrally managed in, in any case. Um, and what really drives the NBA is having fair games and having games that the outcome is not predetermined. Adam's been all over that. He'll be all over that in terms of the gambling laws. And uh, we will set the highest standard of any sports league, in, in, in my opinion, through, with his leadership.